hello everyone I thought I'd come on today and share with you how to make these cute little gift bags that I made for my team members at our retreat last weekend um, they they measure four by four in size and you can get sort of like a, a sizable amount in them I put uh, four little tea light candles in but you could also fit chocolate or gift cards so I'll zoom out a little bit and we'll get on with uh, showing you how to make it. Oops, excuse me. That's a bit too far. There we go. That'll do. Right. You'll need a card, piece of card to start with that measures um, nine inches long by four inches wide. And um, I want you to score that at four inch and five inches and then turn it round and I want you to mark just a little notch at two inches on either side because that will help you centre up to die cut for your handles. You then need to take two small pieces of card that are five inches long, uh, no actually they're um, four and seven eighths inches long because um, you need it just to come level with the tops of the bag so I'll say four and seven eighths inches long and um, I want you to score those uh, each of those at um, four inches and then so just score that one there and that one there And then notch, I want to put a little notch in at um, three quarters of an inch to help you with the uh, scoring for the, because we're going to, if you look there, we're going to make this little gusseted edge so that your bag folds up nicely at the top. Um, you'll also need to score at a quarter. Uh, yes, a quarter of an inch on either end. I find it easy just to uh, turn it round and do a quarter either way. So a quarter inch from either end. Right now it always helps if you um, burnish your creases. piece and the bottom of your don't have to go too crazy you don't want to crack the card right now you're going to do the um the little score on these and i find this easier to do on the on your trimmer if you have one um, you can do it freehand just on the desk with a like a metal ruler and an embossing tool but this is like kind of like an easy hack if you like if I'll zoom in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing so hang on I just have to reach right up to the camera oh that's further out there we go now where you've made your tiny notch here you're gonna line that up with the top and then in in each of the um, I'll show you where you are in each of these little cross points where you've scored your quarter of an inch down and your your four inch mark across, we're going to go from each one of those little crossover pieces up to that point at the top. So I'll just I'll show you. You can if you put your embossing tool in that crease, you can sort of like feel where it is. Then put your um, little mark at the top. And then just score upwards to that little point and then do the same on the other side. You can feel when you've got it in, put your little mark in place on the top and then score upwards. So you've, you've scored like a little V 
upside down V and then do the same in this one so you've got that at the top get your get it into place at the bottom this is the, the easiest way I've found to sort of like getting it getting it accurate there you go so they're both exactly the same now I will do because I have die cut this in a um, in a Blackberry Bliss. Sorry, I couldn't remember what it was called. So I just want to because that's my favourite colour at the moment. Are the new colours? So I'll just score a quarter of an inch from either end of this one. Sorry, you can't see me. And I'm going to do that again. Actually, I'll just mark it at three quarters of an inch. So I've got my mark on. Let's move it down so you can see. Right, so you're going to get your... Put your tool in. Find that little notch you've just made. Score up to that. Put your tool, put your tool in, lock it into place. And then score up to that. That's it, let's just redo that one. Lock it into place. That's better. And then you're just going to re-burnish those creases. I just want to find my... Do you know what? You can never find things when you're looking for them, can you? I don't know where my um, crease tool is. Right. Uh, if you score the um, the two quarter inch pieces to like coming towards you, you I want you to do the same with the um, this V. I want the the top of the V to go in, pointing inwards the same way as these score these side scored pieces, so that the, so that your bag will squeeze together at the top. I know I'm probably, you probably know, and don't need me to tell you, but I just like, if in case anyone's new, I do just like to explain it sort of like a, really clearly, because there's nothing worse than watching a video and not feeling like you've um, fully understood what they've said. And now we can notch out um, these little bits at the bottom. So if you just... that and then you can take a little wedge off the side like that there we go so you've got your this one I made earlier you've got your side pieces your side panels now I want you to cut your um, the die cuts for your handles to fit in where you where you're gonna fit the um, the circles for your handles and if you on on your these panels if you find where I showed you how where to make that little notch kind of center your die over that over that notch and you kind of want to be let me just measure uh, probably about three quarters of an inch down um, like the inside oops sorry the inside of there about three quarters of an inch from the top will be deep enough and then you're going to run that through your die cutting machine and then do that on either end and you'll end up with with this so I won't do that for you because I've it's already done. So I've got my, then you've got your the base of your bag. Then now um, choose a decorative paper. You don't have to decorate it with paper, but choose a decorative paper um, to cover it with. And I show I chose the paper from the Share What You Love suite. Now I found it easier to cut it this to four by four two, and then um, 
the easiest way to line up where to put your um, the die cuts on this so it all matches up is to lay the paper behind um, and then place the die back where you cut it I'll put the tape the right way around place the die back into place where that you cut the actual um, the bag front and then squeeze your tape down onto your decorative paper and pull it out and you know then that that is going to be in the right place to fit onto your bag and um, what I did then was I took uh, two pieces of uh, one for each side and I uh, taped them at the bottom so that they were held in place and I cut the two pieces together um, that way they were both equally lined up and it saved having to die cut twice I like to I like to do these things and try and find little shortcuts to make them as quick as possible because when you're uh, like making like batches of them for team gifts or something like that you don't want to be faffing about too much now you can either obviously you're going to have to cut it very slightly smaller than your four inches so that you can see the beautiful card behind it uh, you can I you can do it beforehand but I found that that was harder to um, line up uh, to, to die cut so I cut mine to um, four by four so I'm now just going to trim a little bit off either side and a little tiny slither off the bottom so that it sort of like mats nicely onto the front of my bag so I'll get my trimmer and then sort of like to make it even I'm just gonna so that's at four so if I just go I do just like one eighth one sixteenth rather off of either side so just a tiny you don't have to measure it um, but just a tiny slither off either side usually when I'm mat matting and layering which is essentially what this is I um, I just I, I don't I just eyeball it I don't usually measure but I guess that just comes from um, 15 years of crafting right let's cut another little slither off these top parts so make sure that's all lined up there we go and we'll do the same on the other one uh, like I say you can choose to, to die cut this extra little bit off before you not die cut, trim this extra off before you start. But uh, I just prefer to do it. After I've cut. Them. Right, the last piece. Then we can start putting it together. Still got a bit of tape stuck on there. What's going on, Amy? Right, so we take our bag base and we're now going to put the sides in. So we want the little edges, your little wedgy edges, to go inwards. So we're going to place that into the bottom make sure it's right flush up to the edge of your card so you haven't got a gap and then lift your side panels up and this is where I want you just to check that your side pieces aren't taller than your bag because you don't want the little bits you want it to be perfectly flush at the top I think mine's all right I think just cutting that, or cutting off that extra eighth of an inch just makes a difference. So then you just get your glue. I'm trying to make sure, because I've zoomed right in, I'm trying to make sure I keep in focus. But I don't think you've missed anything. Uh, 
oh and you just you just know your glue's not going to work when you're filming right well, there you go but your I've, wet glue is easier because it i think it sticks holds for longer be nothing worse than giving someone a gift and it falling apart after a month and then stick the sides down can you see that and then put your other side try and push it right down into the bottom It. Oh. There we go. Just get your something just to really secure that down on the inside. Right, that's one side. And then we'll go in with the other side, if I can find the part, there it is. So make sure you, you, oh, you make sure your pointy bit is pointed inwards. Sit it into place and just check that it all matches height wise. I'm going to take a tiny, tiny slither off the top of that. I will just zoom out a little bit because I keep thinking I keep going off. Um, there you go. Right, we'll add some glue again. I've run out of my Tombow glue, so I'm having to use my backup glue. I'm excited that my order of all my new goodies is about to arrive. Hasn't come today, so I'm hoping it will be tomorrow. Have you all had a chance to have a look at the new things in the new catalogue? Just remember, if you're thinking about spending £99, you might as well join. Because then you get £130 worth of goodies for your £99. And it comes with absolutely no pressure to sell whatsoever. So it might be worth you considering if you're thinking about placing a bigger order. So that is the body of your bag made. So now we can stick on our, our panels. If you don't want to use wet glue you can use the like the um, strong tape right. Oops. there we go oh my bottom part of my bag is poking out there right that's one side off now go for the other side. This paper is gorgeous and it goes with so many colours. You, you've got so saffron, you've got um, your uh, berry burst rich razzleberry and there's the really dark so I think it goes really well with the uh, fresh fig and then you've got your um, old olive and the that gorgeous green in the back is mint macaron which is what I used for the base of my um, for most of my team gifts I will leave a photograph of that in the uh, as like the thumbnail right now you're going to make the handles for your bags and they're super simple all you do is you take the die that you use to die cut your um uh your notch out of your bag um i don't know why i'm sticking that down and then you want to take another die 
sort of like the next size up so that you get the little um, just a small gap place them down inside each other making sure that the um, the gap around them is easy now if you have to do this multiple times another great tip is I think that's I can fiddle about all day is to get a piece of tape that's as long as both of them and I swear it moves on its own I swear you get it even and then the blooming thing the fairies come and push it when you're not looking right put your finger down in the center and then stick out to the sides make sure it's in place before you stick it and then if you've got to stick more than one next time you pick it up you can pick it up they stay together so you know you're going to get the same gap for each one so there's another tip i should have had a little counter going dinging away with all the tips so then you're going to die cut that i i did two together so that i got two two of my um handles at once but um this is what you get you get your little die cut that and you push out your middle and i've got my two don't throw this away because i used it on this one to stamp the little for you and then put my flower so it's you know it's going to match because it's the same card you can use it as your little tag or if you don't you'll have more than what you need because obviously you're going to have four when you've cut your four sides of handles so you can use that as uh, like the either the um like a layer for your sentiments on another card <clears throat> or another bag um so what we're now going to do is uh i need four handles are these two oh yes two stuck together here so you want your four handles and uh, take your wet glue and go all the way around let me just smooth that around a little bit because that's a bit too much all the way around and then you stick one on the inside of your bag and line up the inside with just you want it just on that to match up with the where you've die cut your like that so it matches up where you die cut your um your curve and then you don't need to put so much glue on the top part of this one because you've already got glue but you'll need glue on the bottom to stick to the card and then you'll match that up like that there you go don't they look fab? It just looks so different to uh, like other gift bags. I love the, it looks like a trendy bag. Let's do the other side. Add the glue around the edges. Stick that one on the inside. And then if you have had any like a bit of a discrepancy with your, your matching up of your, your DSP around your handles, the uh, this kind of it will cover it up, so don't worry about it too much. Every project is unique. You can expect something to be a little bit different, and it's not worth beating yourself up over. Right there we go. So that's your bag made. What do you think? And then um, you can then decorate it however you please. This one I just used the little um, cut out from the centre of the bag uh, handle and then I stamped on it for you and I had three matching little flowers and two little gold um, flourishes of leaves um, on the ones for my um, team gifts I fussy cut flowers out of the uh, DSP uh, put the tag on the same um, so I I stuck the tag on 
and then I well I'll, I'll just do one to show you so you'll need to use your anti-static bag find a stamp that you like what shall we go for one of the ones I just used there it is for you and you want a block and some Versamarki now it's a circle so it doesn't really matter what way up it is there we go let's use a piece of scrap paper and some gold embossing powder Still. Well, that'll probably melt, won't it? <laughs> I think my uh, my uh, heat tool is going a bit, going a bit on its way. It kind of heats properly just in one area, so you have to kind of jiggle it about. To... Right. Then I just take a brush and brush off the extra powder. So you've got your for you embossed. So I would then get a excuse me jumping. Take a dimensional or two. Wonky, let's put another one on. Pop that on there. And then I think I had some flowers already die cut. Mm -hmm. You can probably hear my lovely children shout in the background. Where did my die cut flowers disappear to? I wonder. Well, that's just a mystery. Never mind. I won't. Um, I won't hold you up while I look for them. I will uh, leave it at that. As I say, I'm crazy trying to look around, trying to find them. Oh, I had them in this box. I was all organised. But I don't know where they've disappeared to. Anyway, you will embellish it however you choose you can see how your the gusset works i don't like that word <laughs> the gusset works on the side of your bag so it closes like at the top like a normal bag would you could add a ribbon um you could use one of the uh, lovely uh stamping up um uh i've done that before on a bag one of the letter dies with an initial and just have that um dangling with like a piece of the gold thread from the top um, I just put some tissue paper in it uh, the gold to match the gold and then um, put you can just put in whatever you choose but uh, I think they're kind of cute and uh, when they're all lined up in the on our desks at our meeting they look lovely 